Hello guys, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, how to write a nursing diagnosis and care plan for fever. Uh, we had a discussion regarding different nursing diagnosis and care plan uh, previous videos and today we will see how to write a nursing care plan and a diagnosis for fever. I am taking the very, very first, okay, first nursing diagnosis. I mean, when you write the nursing diagnosis, you will prioritize the nursing diagnosis, right? So this is the first nursing diagnosis and care plan you have to write while writing the nursing diagnosis and care plan for fever. So here I've taken hypothermia related to infectious process. Hypothermia related to infectious process. So while coming to the assessment, what is subjective data? The patient says or patient said that he or she is tired and weak. Then objective data, patient looks dull and tired. So you know the difference between subjective and objective data, right? Subjective data means what the patient is saying about the condition and objective data means what you understand from the particular condition. So first you have to do the column like this, assessment, diagnosis, planning, rational, implementation, and evaluation. So in a subjective data, you have written or we are going to write like, patient says that he or she is tired and weak. An objective data, from your observation, patient looks dull and tired. Then in the diagnosis column, write the diagnosis, that is hypothermia related to infectious process. So probably whatever the thing which you have observed that you can write. Okay, so for example, I've taken infectious process or hypothermia related to infectious process. Also, you can write like hypothermia related to infectious process as evidenced by patient's verbalization. Then what's the goal here? Reduce fever and maintain body temperature within the normal range. Uh, identify and manage the underlying causes of fever and allevi alleviate the uh, struggle of tension, etc. Okay, discomfort. So this is the nursing diagnosis Then uh, and the nursing uh, diagnosis goal. Okay, and we're coming to the planning. First planning is monitor vital signs because hypothermia. So monitor vital signs for what? To understand the condition of the patient. Then uh, in implementation always, you are, uh, as I said in the previous video, you have to write in past sense. So present, past, okay? Planning will be in present. Implementation will be in past tense. So monitor vital signs for what? To understand the condition of the patient. Then in implementation, monitor temperature regularly, at least like how, how you're monitoring that you have to write. Okay, uh, temperature regularly at least every four hours or uh, whatever the procedures you are following that as per your institution or the hospital guidelines, you can write. Okay, monitor temperature regularly at least every four hours, monitor for signs of complication. Then second planning is fluid management. Okay, for what? To prevent dehydration. Uh, hypothermia means what will happen? The body will get sweat and there is a chance of dehydration. So fluid management is important to prevent dehydration. Then um, implementation, what increased, uh, increased, increased fluid intake and water, electrolyte solutions, etc. Then promote comfort to maintain comfortable environment with appropriate room temperature and ventilation. That's the rationale. And you can write like this in implementation, used to cool cumbrous or a tepid sponge bath to help to reduce fever, dress the patient in lightweight clothing. So these are all the basic things uh, you can write. Then uh, apart from that, uh, monitor uh, for signs of infection because there are chances of infection. So monitor for signs of infection for what? To collaborate with the healthcare team to initiate antibiotic therapy if infection is identified and monitored for localized signs of infection or assessed for localized signs for infection, redness, swelling, and drainage. Then another planning is rest and activity to modify activity level based on the patient's energy and tolerance for then for what? To increase the adequate rest to promote healing so rest and activity for what uh, to modify the activities of level based patients energy and tolerance and uh, provided rest and activity or encouraged adequate rest to promote well-being then provide education that's very very important for what to educate the patients and family about the importance of completing prescribed medications then provided education or instructed on signs and symptoms that warrant uh, further medical attention then follow up that's very important for what to monitor the progress and assess for any complications followed or scheduled follow-up appointment so these are all the basic plannings you can write in a, uh, a hypothermia diagnosis hypothermia related to infectious conditions then what is the evaluation so based on your goal you can write evaluation goal is reduce fever and maintain body temperature so 
what could be the evaluation the patient's temperature returns to within the normal range and patients reported improved comfort patient reports improved comfort and well-being so this is the way you can write your nursing diagnosis and care plan for fever so here the diagnosis is a hypothermia related to infection process and if you want you can add as evidenced by patient's verbalization okay so monitor vital signs fluid management promote comfort and then monitor for signs of infection, trust and activity, provide education and follow up. Okay, guys. So this is the way you have to write the nursing diagnosis and care plan for hypothermia. Hypothermia, increased temperature. Hope you understand, guys. Thank you.